My research was focused around the clear nose skate, Rostra raja eglantaria. This is a species of skate that lives between Massachusetts and Florida along the East Coast and also in the Gulf of Mexico. We were interested in this species population structure. That is, how are these animals all connecting and reproducing together and creating one big viable group of this species? To do that, we looked at two different lines of evidence. The first, we took tissue samples from specimens and we looked at the genetic data to look at how there might be differences in their DNA. The second thing we looked at, we took whole specimens, took a lot of measurements, we compared the size, the shape, and other physical characteristics to look for what's called phenotypic or visual differences among specimens. We look at them as one big picture. It reveals that the clear nose skate in the Gulf of Mexico are a distinct population from those all along the East Coast. This is really important to know for management and conservation purposes. The clear nose skate are only managed by the New England Fisheries Management Council. So if we wanna make good amendments to the existing management plan that exists in New England, then we can use this information. Or if eventually down the line, Gulf and Southeast decide to manage the species, they can also use this as good baseline information for which to create a management plan. Why clear nose skate? Why do we care about this species? It can be really hard to justify that sometimes because it's not as charismatic as sharks. We don't use it as a fish product. It doesn't make a lot of money. We don't target it for sport. So why would I be putting my time into this? Historically, elasmobranchs, which include sharks and rays and rabbit fishes, are slow to mature, slow growing, and are often vulnerable to overfishing and decimating populations. So the more that we know about all of these species, we can get in front of a problem before it becomes a problem. 